How goes it, everyone? <laughs> In my face. <laughs> yeah, I'm back on the Night Owl server. Mm -hmm. I know, it's been like, been over a week since I've actually done an episode. Oh, no. <laughs> Let me turn that back on. <clears throat> my throat's a little sore for some reason. I don't know why. But yeah, it's been like a week since I've actually done an episode. Uh, I haven't actually played a whole lot since last episode. I don't know. I don't know. I just... Wasn't feeling it. I guess I needed a break. Went too hard too fast with the Minecraft. However, we're back on today. And to start, well, we're going into this very loud nether portal. Because I need to go to the shopping district. <clears throat> I need some rockets. And I could craft them. I could. The thing I could do, I forget which one it is. Pretty sure it's labeled. Uh, uh, gray. Gotta run there like a, like a fool. Gotta run there. I don't know how far it is, but uh, I need some rockets, and like I was saying, I could make them. We have a mob farm at that village. Uh, I don't know if you've seen Cirque's video, but we kind of... He did like 99% of the work. I helped him throw in some, some layers. That was kind of about it. But it's uh, working pretty nice, pretty good. Uh, so we got we got gunpowder. It's not, it's not a problem. We also have a sugarcane farm, so that's also not a problem for paper. But I mean, we're doing this whole shopping market thing. You gotta utilize it, right? Utilize it. Why craft it when you can buy it? How else are we gonna be like, you know, capitalism or whatever? <laughs> Is that right? Maybe. I don't know. Uh, it, and there's also quite a quite a number shop number of shops popped up. I think there's someone right there building one right now. Can't tell who that is from here. Obviously, I wish I had Optifine. But uh, let's go ahead. Man, there is actually a lot of shops. I know that's Cirque's. Maybe we'll take a quick roam around. I don't intend to buy anything else today. Well, maybe we can go ahead and take a quick roam around. Uh, nailed it. <laughs> Salty Cirques. Man with the boat. Does he still have rockets? He does. Never what? One diamond per stack. Okay. Uh, let's get... Uh, let's, give him, let's give him five. 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 Does he have five? He does. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Eh. I did it. I, buy, uh, I don't need food. I don't need leather. Actually, it looks like he maybe has so much leather now. Yeah. He's added in additional, and same with the stick. He's added an additional uh, thing. Wow, it's got a lot in here. Got a lot going on. I got to say, I am disappointed that the rockets, a.k.a. a projectile, uh, I guess this is a bigger ship, though. So maybe this would be correct. Uh, we, we were playing a lot of Sea of Thieves for a while. And, I mean, th th this is kind of the size of a sloop, meaning the cannonballs and or projectile, projectiles should have been, like, in this corner, but it's slightly... Slightly different design, so it's fine. Be nice. Gotta close it. Don't wanna be rude. <laughs> but uh yeah, so there we go. Purchase made. I like how I have a gunpowder in my inventory. <laughs> you saw nothing. I had none. I there was it's impossible. Okay. It's impossible. Uh this is Vert's, I believe. Grand opening by yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Vert's like mending thing, because he's got a really uh amazing mending villager. Looks like he's finally sold out. I don't need them though. Uh, as far as I know, I got mending on everything I would need to have mending on. Except for, like, potentially the bow. But I was wanting to get infinity instead. I used to do mending, but I'm just lazy with arrows. So I'd rather get infinity at this point. But I do think I just... Yeah, I think I got mending on everything I need. And, I mean, we do officially have a mending villager. It's not as good as Vert's. Not even close. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I don't, don't need it at the moment. Uh, what else? that's a new one. I don't recognize that. Hopefully I'm not spoiling nothing. Then this is, uh, yeah, Chinny's, uh, potion shop. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's not this one. Where is it? Was it the health ones? Yeah. Let's see here. Let's see. He was being investigated. He had some sneaky, uh, level ones in here. Oh, did I, did I just see? Did I see something? No. Okay. Okay, no, no. I thought I saw something there, but, uh. He did not. Looks like he did, in fact, correct his mistake. <laughs> and then he accidentally threw in some level ones, not realizing it. And uh, 
Cert caught him. He got caught. How dare he? <laughs> uh, fire resistance for the Nether. If I was gonna go in the Nether, uh, which I mean, if I ever go like Wither Skull hunting, I'll definitely come here. Cause I'll. Why not? What, what, what is he charging? To charge one diamond for two potions? Yeah, that's a good deal. It's a good deal for when I need it. Should I just get them now so I have them? Ah, oh, why not? Why not? What was it? One diamond, two potions. That's probably okay, honestly. Uh, eh, eh. These, these both good. They're both good. All right. They're both quality goods. Okay. <laughs> uh, what is down here? Is this some sort of like a wood shop or something? Uh, stone depot. Okay. Ah. Okay. One diamond for any five stacks. Ah, so just kind of just things. Just things he has lots of. Yeah, yeah, all the different stones. Gross, who'd buy that? <laughs> me, personally, for me, by unpopular opinion, I prefer this diorite over granite. <laughs> and I know I like kind of self-censored with my words there, but being, being sort of polite. But I prefer it. I do. I really do. I know it looks like bird poo. I'm not going to deny that. But I prefer it over granite. And it's like fine. It's whatever. It's another gray, gray texture. But I prefer diorite over granite. Unpopular opinion. Kick me off a night owl. <laughs> uh, what else do we got though? Eh. <laughs> Hit my face. Uh, oh, this is NB's shulker thing. Uh, well, not terrible. Four diamonds. Is it just four diamonds per now? Not four diamond blocks. Did he change it? I could have swore it was blocks before. Uh, but I... I mean, welcome back. Well, welcome back. Uh, I technically could use some more. Like, I don't have a full set in terms of the color. I don't need it right now. So I'm going to pass on that one. Uh, and they're honestly easy enough to get. Because we have the data pack that uh, they guarantee, like, a double drop type of thing. So it's really easy to do. The bone dome, all right. That's right. It's just, this one's, like, bone stuff. I don't know if he's even restocked it for a while. But, again, don't need it. We have a mob farm as well as a skeleton spawner underneath uh, the village. So we have all the bones that one could need. Set over here. This is, uh, I believe it's Bubba. Eh, Bubba's? Yeah, Bubba's beacon. I don't know what this is. I'm spoiling it for someone. Bubba's beacon place. Uh, how do you get in? You go down here. I'm all, Again, I like that. I like that. I don't know how he... Can he just plant on anything? What the deuce? <laughs> uh, not bad. It's... For, it, it's not they're not it's, it's a nice idea in terms of the beacon thing uh i'm not i don't want to purchase my first one though maybe if i ever want like a second to do like a double beacon looking thing um I, i'd come here if he's still selling them I, I like the way he did the the beacon inside it's nice nice texture and stuff it's good good colors um but yeah if i ever do like i said like a double beacon or i want like just a second one somewhere else and i don't feel like fighting the wither then uh then okay, that's that, that. I'll do that. But my first one, I actually do want to like fight a weather and earn it that way. It's just for the very first one, I want to earn it. Hi, hi, hi. Uh, track over here. I don't doing some building. This is this is this is track shop. I'm not gonna buy. I don't need any records today unless he's got a pig step. Does he have a pig step? Let's see. Let's see. Does he have one? Probably not. Probably not. No, I don't see it. Track, if you, if you see this video, I'm pretty sure this is your... Don't set yourself on fire in there or hurt yourself. This is your... If this is your shop, I think, maybe, or whoever's it is. I can't remember now. Maybe it's Bubba's too. I don't remember. I don't remember who does what anymore. I want I want a pig step. Looks like that one's being built, so let's go away. That one looks like it's being built. I don't know by who. Everyone's building shops. I, I have to have a shop. I don't know what. I actually have an idea. But, uh... I'm not ready to build it yet. I actually have to go and design it. Design an idea. I don't think it'll get very many sales. <laughs> honestly, because I don't think there'd be much use for the stuff. But hey, you never know. And <clears throat> Nailed it. All right. Well, we're going back. We're going to go back to the uh, the pit base, the in-the-ground base. Whatever you want to call it. We're heading there. But I'll see you. I'll see you there. Mm -hmm. I'm lost. And we are back at the little pit underground. Or, sorry, rather in the ground base and uh yeah as you can see after last episode i have gone ahead and i've uh input everything as just the gray glass uh i think it's just the best one i don't think there's too many opinions on the gra glass as is 
Uh, I think I had asked, asked Cirque, and I forget what he said. I feel like he said maybe this one. I don't remember, but this is the decision I made. <laughs> I decided gray, just the, just the, the standard kind of like darker gray, but just gray. <clears throat> and then as for the floors, everyone kind of seemed like they, they were saying that they liked the pattern and whatever, so I've left them. I have left them. There actually was a suggestion. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Please tell me I have these. Yeah. Was a suggestion using try maybe spruce. There was there's a reason I don't use spruce, and it's because it's kind of green. It's got this kind of green in it. Like these the, the details is green, and the corners green. I don't I didn't I don't and it goes like a weird kind of reddish orange color, <clears throat> um for the wood itself. On the sides, um I don't like that. <laughs> I, I don't I don't like it. That's why so that's why I didn't use it. There was a reason. There was a reason for that madness. Uh, of why I didn't use spruce when I live in a spruce biome such as this at the moment. Um, but yeah, so the floors, they'll stay. Uh, well, I mean, until I start doing some remodeling potentially. Um, but I need to get out of the way like this. I don't know if this one will end up staying, honestly. I'm going to head out. See ya. See, see ya. No. <clears throat> uh. Um... Yeah, this one may change depending what I do in this area. Some of my ideas, but uh, also Cirque, m m Monsieur, quite be boob at me. Monsieur Cirque came over, and we uh, we got this this sort of like wrapping staircase thrown in, um, which, which is nice because my brain when like I said my brain couldn't figure it out, and I I know why my brain couldn't figure it out just because like I don't I don't think with like these Tetris pieces in terms of the staircase, which obviously you need to. <clears throat> my brain thinks more like straight across, straight across, straight straight across, straight across. And that doesn't line up very well to make it kind of follow the path greatly. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, he, he came over and he was able to get it kind of input, which to, to a point that looks nice. And then I've just threw uh, this border on because I feel like it needs it, obviously. Uh, you're, we're digging in. <clears throat> it does feel like it needs that. And I kind of just followed uh, or mirrored, I guess it would be like these, that there's I think from there really there's like two and there's two and there's two and it does like the reverse arrow pointy thing and then here it changes up obviously this is the way it's shaped but I tried the best I can to try and follow it along and then I ended it ended it here and then I just threw stone on this side just so it's not ugly gross dirt I'll, I'll bring the texturing over when I'm ready <clears throat> but one thing I had been debating was obviously having two of them and I'm like ah I don't know if I want to, if I'm going to sacrifice a wall, because I ended up, I sacrificed this entire wall, you know what I mean? Especially because it was designed with 3x3 three three entrance, like, I kind of thought, I was thinking about that, and he sort of, like, when he put it in, he was uh, thinking of it that way, too. I don't know if I'm going to keep it that way now. Originally, it actually stopped here. I didn't like the way that looked, <clears throat> especially up, up above, which is fine. I'll fill this in with just some decorative stuff or something. But now I don't know if I want to keep it even through by three because I don't know how I would seal this to keep it safe. Because originally, like you would think, like oh well, you put like gates up here or whatever. But first of all, this is awkward. Gates won't work. Second, they can just walk down. They'll drop in. So really, the defense comes here, and I don't know how I would do that. I don't want. A, I don't want a redstone three by three door. I don't. The, the, that's too fancy for this area. I feel like maybe. Um, and then I don't know if I I don't know if I just want like fences and gate and a gate, maybe I don't know. But maybe I'll just I might bring it back down to like one, and have a door. I don't know. I'll think about it. However, um, like I kind of mentioned, I had debated having two, and I didn't want to do it because I didn't want to sacrifice that much. But upon looking at it from above, uh, this is gonna hurt. Ow. Oh, I didn't mean to fall. I went into fly mode. Uh, do I have block? No, of course. Why would I have blocks on me? Come on. Come on. Hey, easy. Relax. In there. Good enough. <clears throat> uh, it looks weird. <laughs> looks a little weird with that on that side. And I don't know. Is that look, like, it almost looks, I can't tell if it's just an illusion. Because of the, so much dark oak now. Like dark oak stairs, dark oak side. I don't, I may need to change the stair color. Hmm. Never thought about that. Uh, but it almost looks skinny on that side now, too. Like, it almost turns in too tight. Like, as if maybe it needs to be a little wider? I don't know. 
Um, but I, it just looks weird with that on that one side. So I think I do need to have a second staircase going kind of the opposite way on this side just to balance it out. Like it looks weird having just this one thing sticking up. That really does look wrong now all of a sudden. Down there it doesn't. It might be the angle. I'll have to look, again, look at another angle. But I feel like I need this sort of shape on this opposite side now so it looks more deliberate. Mm-hmm. Um, I probably never used that secondary entrance and or exit, whatever you want to call it, because uh, it kind of just backs out into the mountain. But, uh, I mean, it'll be there, I guess. And at least it'll, like, balance it. I'm just looking at this. <laughs> I might, might, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. But for now, what I'm going to do, ow, ow, fly, you dang fool. Yeah, good job. Good job. It didn't fly anywhere. I was hitting space. <laughs> yeah, you dumb idiot. I'm going to replicate this onto this side for now. This is where I'm going to start. I'm not going to do it on camera. I've already blabbed enough as is. Um, but I'm going to dig it out at least so that's balanced. And then we'll start on the uh, the first like sort of designing inside their project for today. Uh, see how far we get. Mm -hmm. Well, I, d I did some bad YouTuber things. <laughs> it's, uh, it's already been a bunch of days since the last couple of clips, so... Yeah, I, I'm doing some work off camera. <clears throat> um, there's reasons though. I was, I was feeling unmotivated and un, un, unsure in terms of my my Minecraft and my ability to to decorate and build and do things. Obviously, some changes have happened, which we'll go through. But yeah, I was just feeling a little. It wasn't feeling, if you if you know what I mean. Like I, I was, I had been, I, I mentioned in the earlier clip, it had already been like a week since I had even really played much on the server and then uh the times that i had started coming on sorry for the bang it's very hot here like and i have to have my window open i need i need the air <laughs> uh but yeah and the times i did start coming on i wasn't coming on very much i just i was feeling unmotivated yeah so i just kind of i just i just decided that i was going to do some work off camera and see how i can feel and uh I'm still not entirely sold on what I, I've come up with. It's 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 in line with what I want in terms of like this little in the pit base and in the ground base pit base, whatever you want to call it. Being kind of just full of stuff. Um, it's been better done better than in some rooms than other rooms. Um, yeah, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I just, I just decided, you know what? Let's just kind of get it done. Let's kind of do it and see how I feel, and then we can move on and hopefully some motivation and excitement comes back for the, the minecrafts and some confidence or something like that mm -hmm, mm -hmm. well it looks like the scoreboard thing changed again <laughs> it, it, we moved off to deaths and verse vert was counting like playtime and i was like insanely behind everyone else i think some of them were hitting like 10 million i don't know is it ticks seconds i don't know i don't know how it tracks it but they were hitting like 10 million and I barely crossed over a million last night while I was on here playing. <laughs> uh, but it looks like now we have hearts tracking. So he's changed it up again, which is cool, I guess. Sh sure. See if someone's about to die. <laughs> but uh, anyways, yeah. So first things first, you're going to notice is I went with oak for this. Uh, I just decided I did not like how much dark oak it was. I wanted some contrast. And then that middle room is like the oak color. Um, so it's not completely out of like left field or anything like that. It has ties into the base, and I think it. I think it works. I think it looks nicer in that sense. Uh, I guess I don't. Ooh, a little bit of spoiler. I don't want to look up above because I did end up doing. Uh, like I said, I did do the other side as well. Right. So I do have double staircase, a double staircase, but I don't want to look from above yet because then you'll be able to see inside before I show anything off. <laughs> So maybe we'll look above after. Uh, yeah, did the wall texturing, eh, just a little detail entrance stuff. I don't know. I couldn't. I didn't want just like stone walls and a staircase down. I wanted some sort of like welcome home feeling. Um, as you can see, I don't remember if I showed it. I did decide to go with just the doors instead of the three by three. I feel like I like it better. It's just easy. This is just an easier way to uh, handle an entrance. Plus these doors can keep the zombies out. Zombies. Uh, don't smash them. But yeah, just a little plant, you know, some little like sort of wonky table with a lighting and a pitcher and uh, the composter, which I, I, I filled it up because then like the little bits of bone meal and the pods all look and stuff sort of looks like soil and like fertilizer or just whatever is kind of in there, right? Just instead of just like a bottomless pit. 
Uh, and then just like a little hanging plant, a little sweet berry hanging plant. I wanted to do it with a chain, honestly, like with this and then a chain off of that. Um, but then it gets too low. It cuts like into the door. Uh, I wasn't a fan. As you can hear, my cats are all over here now, making noise with the freaks they are. Let's go in. Boom, door closed. All right, so this is kind of like the first room. Let's, yeah, let's close this. <laughs> this is like the first room. It's kind of like the bedroom, uh, you know, bedroom kind of loungy area. Uh, like I said, it's filled with just stuff. That's kind of what I wanted. I, not even everything's functional. Like, well, obviously, bed's functional. But I just kind of wanted to throw stuff everywhere. Like, I wanted, it to, I wanted it to feel really lived in, right? Like, someone that lives in the ground type of thing, right? It's, it's almost like a hobbit hole, but just, you know, in the other direction. And hobbit holes kind of just have a lot of stuff kind of just everywhere. It's kind of it's kind of their thing, right? So it's kind of <coughs> sorry. That's kind of what I uh, what I did, and just tried to throw different things everywhere. So they got the bag with a little bit of decoration. Um, I tried to make sure there's a workbench in every single room uh, or a crafting table, or whatever. Uh, and then I have a lot of these actual placed around the cartography table. It's just there. Uh, just felt, this wall felt too blank, so I and I didn't have one of those, so I threw that there. Then you got some basic shelves with the sword. I wish, like, it could work. Like, if you get it, perfect. And then you stop moving. See? Ah, look at that. Cool, right? <laughs> Looks like it's displaying. And then, you know, with the spruce and spruce, it just kind of blends in, right? But, yeah, you know, these things kind of glitch out. Maybe if we ever actually make it to 1.16, um, and we're able to have the data pack for the armor stands where you can kind of have them invisible, uh, I'll, I'll implement it that way instead. Mm -hmm. But yeah, otherwise it's just some shelving unit, some uh, sea pickles, and uh, got like a fancy flashy enchanted diamond helmet sitting down on the floor. It's just on an armor stand, if you peek, you can kind of see the armor stand like right there. See right there? And it's just dropped down into the floor, but it makes it look like it's sitting nicely on the, on the ground. And I did a diamond because it makes it look like it's flashy, you know? I could have displayed it something much cheaper, but I don't know. I feel like you'd want to display your... Your fancy goods, right? Which is why I enchanted it. It's just a level one enchantment, right? But it just makes it look flashy. Same with the sword. It makes it look like something special. Mm -hmm. uh, carpet. So we got, we got some barrels for some storage. Some little storage, but it looks like a kind of built in. Uh, I know I said it's hot, but I just, there's too much background noise. <laughs> uh, some sort of like built in shelving units or something. Else. That's what just makes it look, have some depth. Uh, another plant, same thing, same concept, nothing fancy, some more like shelving thing. I threw this, uh, this map down, so this is where my base is, and that's that village out that direction. I have actually a treasure map I want to put down, but, um, I'd have to go find, remember where this one was, <laughs> and finish filling it out, because that'd be kind of cool, having like a treasure map, X marks the spot kind of thing. The text does come up when you look at it, it says buried treasure map, but that's fine. I think that would be kind of cool, but for now I just threw down this, so it's like it looks like it's a map of the area or something, All right? Little, little decorative stuff. A uh, little reading nook or something like that. Got the loom here, All right? Not gonna, I mean, might use it as a loom, but more. It's just that whole thing people do where it looks like an empty bookshelf now, All right? Got stuff thrown on the shelves. Uh, you got a chair. You can actually sit in while I work on my my memoirs. I'm not quite finished yet. I gotta. Gotta sit down and finish my memoirs there, you know. Uh, yeah, that's I think that's about it for this room. Nothing, nothing too fancy. Just decoration stuff, kind of thrown everywhere. I don't know. It's, it's I don't hate it. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. It's definitely in line with kind of what I wanted. Hi guys, have I shown you guys this that I've named this one for sure? None of them have been named yet. You feel free to toss names. This one though, because it reminds me of my my real cat IRL that we had to to put down earlier this year, sadly. Right. So you got that one, but the rest of them up for grabs. But all right, let's head into the middle room. Middle room's not done, uh, even though it looks done. But this is going to be where the enchantments happen. The enchantments, yeah. So I threw just a bunch of book stacks everywhere. Kind of makes it feel a little claustrophobic. I may even toss a couple more. I don't know, maybe like one down here or something like that. Uh, and then, yeah, just the uh, same thing. Just threw stuff on top. There's another sea pickle, some lanterns for the lighting. Got the grindstone up there. Uh, like the put random purple carpet because like the purple color kind of I don't know it tends to be uh, aligned with um, stop peeking you jerks uh, like kind of magical stuff right so I, I did purple plus it's my color so it works but also 
Enchanting seems sort of magical fantasy, right? That's purple ten, tends to be used for that. And same with the gold, right? So purple and gold are kind of common colors. So I just do a, a gold and pressure plate down there. And then they just got other random decorations, you know, a piece of bamboo, the whole loom thing, random trap doors, a pressure plate here, some ladders on stuff. I, you know, we don't, I mean, this one goes there, but, you know, it doesn't really need to do anything. But then more importantly... The reason why I say this room's not done despite it looking done is these books don't actually work for this. I don't actually know what level... I don't know if any of these would actually pull into that because they're a level higher. Um, and that's fine, though, because uh, I need to finish the redstone. Works. The reason why these are all stairs is because it's just that classic kind of pull the stairs down, reveal the bookshelves, which these three spots in here and underneath this one and there and underneath this one, uh, there's basically there's 12 bookshelves in there. So when that drops down, it would be revealed, right? I just got to actually do the redstone. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I'm not actually, I, I think I know how to do it. I think. Maybe not, though. I'm not sure if I remember how to do any sort of fast tick stuff or anything like that. I may have to actually look that up. <laughs> don't make fool me. I don't. I, told, I tell you. I don't. I understand basic redstone, but like... I really don't do it. <laughs> but yeah, so I was going to throw that in there, and then this room would more or less be complete. And everything should be lit properly. That's why there's like one there and one there. Uh, I know, I think enchanting tables give off light too, potentially. But I'm pretty sure light can go through them too. At least it used to be able to. And there is a, like a lantern underneath there. If you don't know. I can't see it, but there is one there. Maybe, maybe I'm not remembering correctly, but I'm pretty confident that it's uh, all good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, this room, we're gonna, not going to go in because it's under construction, which means I haven't done it yet. <laughs> I actually haven't decided what I want to do in there. What's this one? All right, this one was like a storage one. All right, so this is like kind of like the bulk storage, more or less. And I know it doesn't look like a lot. It's only uh, it's only 18 double trees, right? There's some lighting back there and stuff like that. doesn't seem like that much. But then when you factor in the fact that, like, factor in the fact i had some barrels in the other room and i just also have a bunch of barrels tossed around here right like there's four barrels there uh, there's another i call it a handful of barrels here four more barrels here right there's lots of spots that i can just throw stuff around there's this one up here this little secret one right where you can throw stuff in there so that there is like there is storage scattered around just about using it right it's not just about throwing chests in there i didn't want to do just like throw chests everywhere no I mean, a little bit of it is fine, and it kind of, and I mean, it works, and it looks, it looks fine, it looks nice, right? And line, line it out with some, some logs and stuff like that, and it works. And then you throw some other stuff around, and then you're good. But again, just kind of some more plants, some more lanterns. I got these buttons just around to add a little bit of spots of like depth in the walls where little bits poke out and stuff like that. But yeah, kind of just lanterns and some plants tossed around. Again, some pressure plates. I don't know why it just looks like a wood slab or something. Uh, I got campfires have been put out. They look like logs. They work really nice. This is one that I remember from way back when they first came out, campfires or whatever. Um, you put them out, and if you have like a uh, fireplace or something like that, and you put them next to a fireplace, it looks like it's logs that you can use to stoke the fire. I don't have a fireplace. It doesn't mean like I couldn't have logs. I might have use for logs, right? You don't. You never know. Um, another carpet just down here. I, I know it's weird to have a carpet in the storage room. But the, this just felt too wide open and barren. So I just threw a little basic kind of very neutral looking in terms of color uh, carpet down here. Mm -hmm. Armor stand with some purple, purple leather armor just for some color in here as well. Uh, instead of, uh, uh, like, you know, diamond or gold or anything like that. Plus, I, I do have an armor stand elsewhere with some actual armor on it. Um, so this one's almost more like, I don't change clothes or something. Who knows? Who knows, right? Use your imagination. But, uh, yeah, that's this room. I haven't actually filled this. I've got this one. This has just been dumping while I was uh, building. <laughs> but I haven't actually filled it up yet. I'll, I'll work on that after. Uh, and then the last room that's been done is this one. It's sort of like a workshop feel. It's kind of what I wanted to go for. for. It's not... The, in terms of the function... I mean, there's probably a bunch better ways that I could have implemented what I implemented. But what I wanted to do is if, if you like flick these... Right? They kind of, they move, right? I'm surprised you can't hear them. I can hear this clicking, which might be a bit annoying. Why can't I hear that, actually? What is, what would that be? What would that be? Isn't that like blocks or something? That's weird that you can't hear that. <laughs> but let's go ahead and we'll flick those off. Um, but yeah, there's, as you can see, there's hoppers in like a minecart above. 
So like it would, uh, it can throw like s stuff that's gonna get smelted uh, into the into these different like furnaces and cooking things, right? I'd have to manually load my coal or or fuel, which is fine. And honestly, I don't even know how often I would use these to f load it up. It's it's I mean it's fairly easy. Throw a bunch of stuff in there, flick this like that and then that, and it's like pretty decent, right? I haven't pushed it to the limit or anything like that, but it, it seems like it pulls items out relatively quick, right? Uh, and then everything's just lined up to, to go to their chest, their, their, their own little double chest afterwards, right? Um, yeah, I don't know, just kind of, just made, I just wanted it to seem like it's like a busy, bulky factory thing. That's why there's just stuff everywhere. There's like, you know, chain hanging there, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense because of glass. Uh, you know, magma blocks behind the, the iron there, the iron bars to make it seem like it's there's heat. Right, causing these things to cook, uh, and just iron bars strewn about everywhere. You know, you got the gold armor here. I kind of wanted it to be chainmail, but uh, I don't think we had a chainmail, uh, or not like a, not a chainmail, but uh, like a blacksmith villager anymore. Back at the village, selling it, and I don't have any on me, so I just threw gold because gold is kind of like striking as well, and it also is cheaper. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not a rich boy, so there, there's that and. Got an anvil, and I threw an iron iron pressure plate on here. Even though it's like a little wider, it kind of looks like, you know, I've been working the iron over here, right? I, I heat some iron up, brought it over here, and I, I've hammered it down to a, a flat sheet to, to use for something else or something, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You got to use your imagination a little bit, best you can. Uh, you got grindstone. You got your, uh, what's this one, the smithing table or something like that, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is like a bucket of coal, which actually, if, uh, before I forget... I had another idea for the coal. Right now there is a block of coal in the little thing to represent coal. Because, you know, why not have it represent itself? However, there's Blackstone. If you come with me, come on. C come with me. Come on. Join me, will you? Take that out. And Blackstone. The, the shapes, right? Kind of looks like coal too, right? Especially the way the coal they kind of done this game. This kind of looks like coal as well, right? So this is this is actually coal. Mm-hmm. More like you know dark black, whatever, whatever. But then that's I mean the color obviously maybe not the best, but in terms of the texture, not the worst, right? Maybe you guys will have to let me know which one you think looks better in there, the black stone uh, or the normal actual coal. Obviously color wise, I think that's much better, but the texture wise. I'm not convinced the other one doesn't look better. Uh-huh. You have to let me know. Blackstone or coal. Block of coal. Mm-hmm. But I think that's everything to really show. Like, I mean, like, there's some spots with hidden lighting. Like, you know, glowstone in there. Another chest has some glowstone, which I don't know how much that actually would come up and through. But I just threw it in there, and I mean, obviously that's spitting out some light. I'm pretty sure it does. Things like that. Uh, all right, we'll go in here. So you can see. <laughs> Nothing's been done in here because I haven't decided what I want to do with this room yet. I'm thinking maybe like potion and like cauldron style stuff. Like kind of make it look like that. So like a little brewing room or something like that. Not entirely sure though. You'll have to let me know. What do you think? You think is, that, is that a good idea? A good spot to... Because I mean I don't have any brewing here yet. And it would be nice to be able to, you know, brew here as well. We do have the shop mini, but I... Mini, uh, mini, mini chini or whatever. Uh, has the uh, the uh, the potion shop there, but I don't think he has like a whole wide array of potions. I think it's just a select few. So it'd be nice to have sort of like the ability to brew potions while I'm here myself for the ones that uh, he's not selling, and then just again to fill the space up with stuff and make it you know make it look like another type of room. You know, I, I've obviously tried to theme each room a little bit. You know, with the workshop and. To kind of th this is kind of like home almost like even though the whole thing is home this is sort of like home you know bed shelves little reading area just shelving units d displaying stuff I, I actually wouldn't I kind of speaking of displaying stuff I kind of want to get some like s uh, turtle eggs because those kind of look cool for display and I also want to use some of the skulls but I'm nervous because I know at least last snapshot some of the, the the heads, the skulls, were causing some lag or something, so I, I didn't put any down. But once I know that they're okay, I may replace a couple things here and there with a skull or something. Um, but that might be cool, like decoration here. It's sort of like a brewing, uh, alchemy kind of location or something like that. 
Sorry, I had to have uh, some liquid. And then this is just out the other side. <clears throat> Looks very much the same. Different picture. Same, like, plant thing. Everything like that. I might add some more in here. I don't know. Like, maybe this wall might need a little something. Ah, I don't know. Like I said, I wasn't the most inspired, but I started to feel a bit better as time went on, I guess. You could say I got a little more comfortable with that. The process of kind of just throwing stuff everywhere, I feel like it could still be a lot more a lot more uh, put together. Hello? Who shoo? Who shoo? I can't believe I missed. And I missed because he died. <laughs> um, yeah. Who, who knows, though? Who knows? Who knows? Oh, I, uh, I changed that floor, though, by the way. Just pure oak plank now, just to match the top of the bookshelves. But let's go ahead and... And then we'll turn and hit my face. Nice. There you go. It's, a, it's maybe that size better, but I feel like it like already like having that about on that side now does instantly balance out the 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 whole entire shape of the base, which is what I was kind of worried about. Which is why I wanted to do that second one, right? It's so weird that having just a single, a single staircase made it look off, and now it looks deliberate and like balanced and stuff like that. <clears throat> and then having it all stuff built into it kind of kind of looks, you know, nicer, minus that room. But uh, yeah, that's kind of what I what I was doing. That's what I was working on. It was, it was a lot more than I think I intended <laughs> to do for say this episode or from the last clip, like what I had planned on doing. But uh, like I said. Well, I was, I was, I wasn't feeling, uh, I wasn't feeling 100%, so I just kind of, kind of let myself build as I was feeling it, and then last night I really came in and I was on for, for a while, I, I finally started to kind of get in the groove and putting some blocks down and things such as that, but, uh, I really needed to get the episode out, um, which is why this room's not done, plus like I said, I don't entirely, I think I know kind of, you know, the whole alchemy potion thing, but maybe there's a better idea, I don't know. Who knows? If you guys have other like little indoor, like decor, like tips and tricks and stuff like that, um, let me know. Like I, I do like I used I used to be pretty good with them um, when I was still actively playing like back like Night Elf season two days and season one. Um, and things were much more limited even back then, right? So I'm doing what I can in terms of stuff, but there might be things that I don't know about or I haven't I've forgotten about or things like that. So if you if you know about little cool things you can do that you think might fit in somewhere, let me know. Mm -hmm. But uh, anyways, I think that's it for this one. I'm going to go edit and render this video and try to get it up to you as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, just want to thank you all for watching. Thanks for being patient with uh, the lack of episodes. If you enjoyed it, even though it was a bit of a weird episode in terms of time jumping. Be sure to leave a like. Appreciate that as well. Definitely help. Definitely help with some motivations to know, like, yeah, yeah, you haven't, you haven't completely lost it. <laughs> but uh, anyways, I'll uh, see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, that was a bad one. <laughs>